Greetings, my friends. A Facebook brother of mine dropped me a line yesterday and told me that Fox News was calling of Barack Hussein Obama the real messiah. Now, I wasn't surprised to hear that because, again, as I've said many times, uh, all the major magazines, newspapers, uh, recorded media, print media, live media, would constantly call Obama Jesus, the savior, the next messiah, the real savior, God, all kinds of names, and uh, it's making him the ultimate deity. But I wanted, but Fox News used to be at least, they used to at least pretend to be conservative. So I figured, hey, let me go ahead and just check it out and see. And back in the old days, uh, when I was growing up, they had subliminal messages on TV before cable came out. And they would put sub subliminal messages on the screen that would uh, get your mind uh, wrapped around a certain idea they wanted to implant in your brain and make you think that way. So while this woman was doing a broadcast, you see on the bottom it says Trump responds to the bombshell IG report. They had, in the live video, they had all kinds of different uh, captions of like this right here and this right here that matched what she was saying here. Then all of a sudden in this part, this pops up after eight years over swooning over the real Messiah Obama, which has nothing to do with Trump responding to the bombshell IG report. They're trying to make you understand that Barack Hussein Obama is their version of the real Messiah, a.k.a. the future Antichrist. Let's go to the next picture, shall we? And again, here's another angle of it. After eight years over swooning over the real Messiah, Obama. And again, there's the Fox News to let you know that's where it's coming from. And again, it has nothing at all to do with this. Amazing how this is coming out finally. And again, people just don't understand. They can't see the truth. I'm going to expound a little bit more on that in a while. First, I'm going to show you videos. And then, after I started doing some digging and found that, these two pictures, I thought, well, let me see what else is going on with Obama right now. Come to find out, there's a woman who is a Satanist, Satan worshiper, who is a Obama uh, crony. She loves him. And I'll show you more about that in a moment. Took a picture of Obama dressed as Blaphomet, the devil, basically. And the, and the gentleman next to him uh, was a congressman when Obama was uh, in the White House. And this picture was removed swiftly off the Twitter feed. I believe Obama probably saw it and told her to take it off there right now. It's a private picture, I believe. And many try to say it was Photoshopped, like many people say nowadays. Oh, it's just a Photoshop picture. But Obama's not dressed really as Blaphomet. Really? Let's look a little further. And again, here's Blaphomet. And that picture I showed you, if you look at the, at the long version of it, which I'll have a copy of, I think, in a minute here, it shows the wings on the suit. He's exactly uh, emulating his god, Satan, the devil, Blaphomet. So, people say the picture is staged and not real. So we go ahead and find out the woman right here. She's a big-time Obama crony. She's constantly putting out things for Obama, following Obama, loves Obama, class and grace. She talks about with Obama all the time. And Obama White House, she loves Obama. And see, here's gives you an idea of the wings on the suit as well with the rest of it. And this gentleman, Obama's friend, the former congressman, has a Chicago jacket on, Obama stomping grounds. So this woman constantly blogs about Obama and loves him and, and talks about him all the time. And then they took the picture and they broke it down with all kinds of different filters to see if there's any way any part of the image was added to the image or changed it, or adjusted it, or or modified it, it wasn't. So it was proven through exhaustive uh, search of, of uh, I think it was billions of photos. This photo is a genuine, legitimate photo, and they believe it was snapped by her own camera, this woman I showed you before. So, I told you I want to talk to you some more about the whole Obama deal. First of all, understand this. There's always been an Antichrist ready to go. Satan doesn't know when the rapture is going to be, but he knows it could be any time since Israel became a nation. He knows that. He knows the Bible better than most Christians do. And there's always been an Antichrist. There's always, you had Hitler sitting there right before she became a nation again. And you had Stalin and Mussolini and you had Pol Pot and you just had so many other wicked evil leaders, and now you've got Barack Hussein Obama. And again, 
Obama hasn't gone anywhere. Have you ever seen anyone who's a former president or a former world, world leader that gets out of office and is even more popular and more visible now than when he was even in? Normally the old leaders fade away. You'll see a little blurb every once in a while. This guy is constantly on the news 24-7, 365, to get his own Netflix show to be able to put his own propaganda and lead the world into his trap when he becomes the Antichrist. And understand the Antichrist is not going to be some stranger. I was a psych minor in college. Teaches you, one of the psych 101, that when things get bad and when the feces hits the fan, people look for someone that they know already, they're familiar with, and they trust, they admire, and they love. Obama's one of the most admired, loved, and trusted men, people on the entire planet, year, year after year, poll after poll. I know some people hate him, but the thing is, the Holy Spirit's still here. There's still a little discernment going around, not much. When the Holy Spirit leaves, discernment leaves, and people will fall for Obama's shtick, lock, stock, and barrel, my friends. It's obvious what's going on. It's plain as a nose in your face what's going on. People just can't see it. They just can't see it. And I've got over 700 things, including every scripture in the Bible that point right to Barack Hussein Obama and no one else that I've seen so far. It's just unbelievable how just plain and right in your face. But again, again, most won't believe this. They'll say, oh yeah, this is just another whatever. But again, it won't matter to me because I'm going to heaven soon, either by rapture or death. But those who are left behind to deal with this guy when he becomes the Antichrist, you'll have wished you listened to me a long time ago because this guy is about to reign pure hell on this earth for seven plus years and tear it to pieces. And God's going to put his judgment on and tear it to pieces. And if God didn't intervene, there'd be no flesh left alive, my friends, none. It's going to be horrendous. So keep believing what you want to believe. I'm telling you what's going on. Obama's running the country and the world as the de facto leader and the red state, the deep state government right on down the street, right on down the street from the White House, just about a mile or two away in his big mansion. It's plain and simple what's going on. And again, few can see it because few have any discernment. If you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray the prayer and do the six steps I have in the box right below the video. If you're unsaved or backslidden, pray the prayer, do the steps now because no one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer for anything at all, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. Had a lot of pictures to put out, so I couldn't do my 16 languages on this video. Sometimes I can't, but I try to do it every time that I can. But just share this video. If you have any discernment or any common sense, share the video and put it out. If you don't, go back to sleep, put your head back in the sand like an ostrich, and then just wait to be left behind. May God bless you. Take care of yourselves. Share this. Bye.